Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for January 27th, 2020. So grab your favorite beverage, let's dig into some charts, and let's get started with the Monday edition of the morning market prep. So this morning, we have kind of an interesting situation going on here. Um, clearly, the coronavirus um, is spreading pretty quickly um, around the world. Um, and we're having um, some jitters and fears about that this morning, as you might imagine. You know, we've all talked about um, how this market has been um, extremely bullish and really over uh, bought for a period of time now. And who would have guessed it's going to be a microscopic virus that actually brings us back down and it's doing it in a real quick fashion. So let's take a look at what's going on in the technicals here. And just understand that the news continues to expand on this. And right now there's, um, we're approaching 3000 cases of the coronavirus now and it's been spreading around the world. We now have five confirmed cases here in the United States. Um, and unfortunately, there are nearly 460 over in China that are now listed as critical. So we can probably expect the death toll numbers to start to rise pretty quickly here soon. Right now, over 80 folks have succumbed to this uh, virus. Um, certainly a serious situation. And what's happening here is the big uncertainty. And that big uncertainty is how will this impact um, economies around the world. Um, as we know, um, there's 20, 25 million people in China virtually locked down. Um, public transportation's closed. Um, many businesses are closed as they're attempting to uh, deal with the spread of this virus. And in that circumstance, um, there is obviously a lot of economic impact. We're even seeing it in the oil markets this morning, dropping into the low 50s per barrel um, as there's that expectation that uh, travel will be limited. Folks aren't going to be moving around uh, very much, um, trying to protect themselves from this. And so the market is dealing with this big uncertainty. Markets hate uncertainty, not knowing, and there's really not much more uncertain than a spreading virus. So this morning we're looking at a pretty, um, well, a pretty disturbing uh, morning open. We at one point were down 500 points in the, the Dow Jones Industrial Average in the futures. And as you can see this morning, we have rallied back up here so far um, to right now, as I'm looking at the Dow futures, we're down 409 points. So we're looking at a gap down into this area here. So that breaks some of these levels of support in the chart and breaks our trend. That could be... Well, who knows? And, and here's the, the thing that's going to be really challenging over the next few days is who knows what happens from here? Does this get worse? Does this uh, get much better? What we can expect is some pretty substantial volatility in price, maybe even the perfect storm for volatility of price, because keep in mind, we have a lot of huge earnings reports coming out this week. We have an FOMC rate decision this week. We have an impeachment impeachment trial that continues to uh, move along here. So, you know, you couple that with the um, spreading virus situation and we have kind of the perfect storm for price volatility. And that uncertainty makes everyone jittery and we get these big extreme moves. So one thing that I think we can probably expect is we can expect very quick, just news driven reversals that will reverse uh, price action uh, could be throughout the day, intraday. We get those news driven reversals. We could also see 
um, big morning gaps, and, and there won't be much we can do about those at all. We can just expect um, pretty substantial morning gaps until this uncertainty kind of begins to resolve itself. So be really, really careful with what you do here and just realize that the market could move around really fast. Um, inexperienced traders might find it better to just stand on the sideline for a little while until this resolves. For those of you that are uh, very quick and adept experienced traders, probably a lot of intraday trading will be going on, really enhancing that daily implied volatility as people try to catch those quick swings in the market. Market. So just keep that in mind. We just have this uncertainty and markets hate uncertainty. So we're looking at a gap down this morning. Um, pretty substantial. It could be a little bit brutal. And as you can see um, here, we are still holding above our 50 day moving average. So even with this gap down, where we're expected to open this morning, close to the 50 day moving average. But I got to tell you, when we get that close to the 50, I would be absolutely surprised if we don't test that 50. Um, it'll just draw it down there. So watch that pretty closely as we move through this news this morning and uh, the market reaction to this virus. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also looking at a substantial move lower, but not getting as bad a reaction really, uh, at least so far, as we're seeing in the Dow. But we are gapping down below some support levels. However, we do have some price support right through there in price, and obviously we're holding right uh, above here, um, which is a strong, le rel relatively strong um, area of support. Now let's take a look at those moving averages. And what you can see is we're gapping down into this area. Now, if the Dow continues to push on lower, don't beat and, and catch that 50 day moving average. Don't be too surprised if it doesn't drag the SPY down as well. If we can hold um, some support level right in here, just above that 50 day moving average, we'd be in pretty good shape overall and uh, obviously it takes a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, froth off of this market really quickly um, it's unfortunate there's probably a lot of folks that are going to lose substantially today because they have over traded um, this extended move so let's just be really careful right in here and just realize that 50-day moving average could be um, a, a target here soon let's take a look at the uh, queues now the queues held up really really strong um, overall yeah I mean obviously a bearish engulfing candle on Friday but has just been extremely strong one thing that's unfortunate when we have this much strength in an index and there's no pullback, there's no real rest, it means that there really is very little support underneath, price support underneath that to hold it. So this morning we're looking at a gap down here in the queues and there's a little teeny tiny area of support right there. Just a couple, three days where we rested just a little bit we're trying to catch right in on that level right now but i gotta tell you um we are so severely stretched away from our 50-day moving average here that um it could be an interesting situation if the bears really start attacking here hard so be careful with these positions now of course one of the things that's going going to affect this and really bring some uncertainty more uncertainty into this market is going to be the earnings reports of these huge companies this week we've got um Apple and Starbucks and, and just a whole slew of big tech uh, type companies, Google and all of these reporting this week. They're largely expected to report pretty well. So how that handles or how the NASDAQ handles that is going to be inter interesting if the continued um, uh, spread of the virus starts uh, pointing to a weaker economy moving forward. So it's going to be very, very interesting and maybe very challenging to deal with so watch that closely um, last but not least IWM now IWM really didn't have a great day on Friday 
But what it did do is held this price support level right in here. And by the way, that transfers all the way back here um, to last year. And now this morning we're looking at a fairly substantial gap down here in IWM. We'll want to watch that pretty carefully. Gapping down into this area means that we've just opened up the door for that possibility of a bigger move down in IWM. And if we look at those uh, moving averages, you can see that this morning what we're attacking here, we are attacking the 50 day moving average. Let's hope it can find some support there. Um, if it doesn't find that support, then just know that we could have a relatively quick move on down in here, maybe even down into this area right in here, testing that bigger level of price support in the chart. So keep that in mind lots of volatility in the near future uh, be very very careful about how you plan your trades we could see really quick moves 20 to 30 points on the dow almost instantly we get those intraday gapping going on when we get lots of volatility like this so plan your risk very very carefully let's take a look at the vix now the VIX had a substantial rise on Friday and as you can see rose up pretty substantially and we ended up the just testing and holding right there at that downtrend line. Now this morning I would expect we're going to gap substantially above that area in the VIX. And once again, I'm going to suggest that as much as this is a concern right now, the real problem won't occur until we get some kind of a rest or pullback and prove to hold either a price support level or this downtrend as support. If that were to prove to hold and we continue to move up, that's where the really big selling will come in. So this initial knee jerk reaction obviously could be very painful, but let's watch the pullback in this and if that fear um, doesn't subside completely if we hold some levels of support that's where that real selling could come in so watch that close the first reaction is one thing it's it's that rebound that we have to watch very carefully to make sure in that rebound of the market that it can break back through those resistance levels if it cannot on the overall markets break back through those resistance levels we have to watch for that potential of that next failure lower let's take a look at t2122 now, T2122 is the four-week new high, new low ratio. What I'm expecting this morning is we are going to gap down into this bearish, or excuse me, bullish reversal zone. That bullish reversal zone would suggest that we get some kind of a bounce out of that in the next few days. And that's where we get that little rally back. Um, just that oversold condition that can be created here. Now, keep in mind, we can stay down here for a while. We've had periods in the past where we stuck down here for a little while. That fear continues to, to roll around in here. So if we stick down here, we could see that additional selling, like I suggested, maybe that 50-day moving average being attacked on the diamonds, maybe even the spot. So let's watch that down here pretty carefully. But um, we could expect some kind of bounce, and it will be in that bounce where the real risk comes if we can't break back through resistance levels. Now, we have a lot to deal with this week, um, and it's going to be... Well, I got to tell you, it's just going to be really, really interesting to see how the market deals with all of the data that we have this week to deal with. So first off, today um, on our economic calendar, we have new home sales. Now, that that can certainly move us around pretty substantially but that's really about the biggest thing for today um, other than the earnings reports out there so we'll want to watch that pretty carefully but just notice throughout this week all of these red marked um, events are pretty big events that can move the market around substantially so you can see we begin tomorrow the FOMC meeting and we have the FOMC announcement on Wednesday that always creates that uncertainty in the market we usually get some turmoil around that some volatility 
So keep that in mind. Now, one thing could occur is for us to bounce down where we're going. We could sit there and rest for a while. And that may be just that rest to get, maybe get that reassurance from the FOMC that they're not going to be right, running rates up higher anytime soon. But we could just kind of rest in here, waiting for that FOMC announcement to give us that warm and fuzzy. Then keep in mind, we've got GDP and jobless claims, personal incomes. So we've got a very busy week in the economic calendar and we're, um, just creating more of that um, uncertainty, that stress, that tension in the market. Um, that being said, we also have a massive week of earnings today. Over 70 companies reporting earnings. Some of those companies um, reporting today that we'll want to keep an eye on, some of the more notables, I would say, would be companies like Juniper, WHR. That's going to report this morning. We'll want to keep an eye on uh, that we have several notable earnings this morning that we'll want to keep a close eye on. But remember, the majority of these earnings reports are going to be um, over the next several days where we start seeing Apple, Google, um, Starbucks, um, lots of big notable companies will be reporting, Amazon, those kind of things that can really move the market around. So kind of keep that in mind as um, we move forward. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that if you guys could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube also click that bell icon when the bell pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos purpose of these videos are not to provide any hype or um, any of those kind of things uh, no prediction here what we want to do is we want to just focus in on the technical of the chart, the things that could affect the market, and decide how we want to approach the market for today. Now today obviously is going to be a pretty rough morning for a lot of folks. There could be a little bit of panic starting to set in with folks that maybe got a little overextended or overzealous um, in this market. There'll be some painfulness coming in this morning. So watch that carefully. And if you find these videos to be helpful, if you could please click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. That helps us continue to grow the channel, reaching out to more people. If you find it helpful, hopefully others will find it helpful as well. Thank you to those who do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. So let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up, but I got to tell you, we're going to have to be really, really careful, um, really careful with these stocks um, this morning because um, there's so much back and forth. In fact, I almost hesitate to even bring up any stocks because we can see some really big dramatic moves here over um, the next few days. But let's take a look at some of those stocks. One of those that I've been kind of paying attention to here is Cisco. Now Cisco has been moving up nicely. You can see we're coming up in this trend looking pretty decently. And as we continue to move up in that trend, let's see it there's my drawing I wanted move up in that trend we're kind of resting right above this little support area we broke through that resistance we're resting right in here as you can see we have more price resistance in that chart right there but we're getting a good response here in Cisco so Cisco I'm starting to look like an improved stock here now this morning we're looking like it's going to gap lower. So once again, all of these stocks that I'm going to show you are probably going to get a negative reaction this morning. But let's watch that. If that can pop back up in here, we want to watch to see if that can finally start breaking higher. Ulta is a really nice looking stock and has been beautiful in this move up. You can see breaking through this resistance, holding up in a nice trend. Now this morning, once again, it's looking to gap down here, but as long as it holds onto that trend if it can recover right back above that support area and hold right in here there may be some upside opportunity coming in the near future on Ulta keep an eye on that 
FTCH is another one that we've been watching pretty closely. FTCH holding up very, very well. It looked like there may be an opportunity coming, but now today's market, um, going to bring a little bit of a pause into that. You can see we broke above this area right here and we have a gap above to fill. And that's a, you know, plenty of room to make a good percentage return on this stock. But now this morning we're um, moving a little bit lower. So we'll want to watch that closely. Breaking the trend right now and breaking support. If that can recover real quickly, we may be okay. But FTCH is one on the list to keep an eye on. As you guys know, I've been watching Angie here. Um, Angie's been moving up in this nice trend, that potential of breaking into this gap. This morning, bid-ask spread is really wide here this morning. I'm not exactly sure where that's going to open up this morning. But keep an eye on that. As well. If we can continue to hold in this trend, there would be some opportunity here in that trade. So keep a close eye on that. I've been keeping an eye on eBay. eBay holding up in here, uh, trying to break this downtrend. As you can see, we're downtrending here in this chart we're trying to break back up through there now earnings are coming here on the 28th that really messes things up quite a bit here for us but let's watch that close if ebay can report a good earnings report and gap above or get above this resistance area what i'm going to be looking for if it pops above is i'll just be waiting for that next pullback for that opportunity to enter that trade after getting out of that downtrend so watch that close ebay might come around if the earnings are good. Uh, Twitter is another one I've been keeping an eye on. Twitter holding up, breaking that downtrend, breaking through some resistance. Notice we have this really nice gap above that could potentially be filled. But this morning with the news, we are gapping lower. So keep that in mind. Um, all of these stocks could have severe reactions and may not come back depending on um, uh, the outcome of all this uncertainty. So with that, everyone, I'm running this video long, but I want to thank you all for uh, for being here this morning. And I want to thank everyone who takes the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave those comments. You guys are you're just awesome. I appreciate it so much. Today might be a little bit unsettling, but I want to um, remind everyone that markets do this from time to time. And it's one of the reasons I've been echoing day after day after day, be careful not to overtrade, be careful not to overtrade, because these kind of things occur. I never expected it would be a microscopic virus that brought the market uh, back to some reality. But that's one of those things that occur. And it's one of those things that proves that the market is truly unpredictable the best we can do is learn to follow price action so if you guys find this helpful please make sure and click that subscribe button and always feel free to share this video with any friends family share it on twitter or facebook you all have a great day i wish you all the best and we'll talk to you all bright and early tuesday morning take care now